And right now, an Anniston High School student is also recovering after being injured while a gun went off inside the school. ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent talked to students and a parent after the incident. First, it was a bomb threat. Senior Nova Pittman remembers being evacuated to a nearby field. And so we all go outside. We're outside for like an hour and a half before we even go back inside. Then a gunshot. We're right back out and everyone is screaming. There's girls crying on the ground. Everybody's freaking out. Aniston police say a bomb was not found. However, a student was handling a gun when it went off shooting the floor. That's when a student was injured by flying fragments. Aniston police say the gun was in an opaque canvas bag. Now in September, the school system adopted a clear bag policy for students. On the high school's website, it states students can only have clear or mesh book bags. I think that all of this is a big fat message saying you need to do more to make sure these students are safe. 14 year old Fahim Dorthard was on campus. When they had told us about the gunshot, the students told us, I ain't hear it from a teacher. The students told us and stuff, that's when I had got kind of worried and wanted to come back to the house. His mother, Jessica Dorthard, hopes this won't happen again. I feel comfortable with him going back to school. I don't think that it's going to be an issue that's going to persist. I feel like it was an isolated incident, and I hope that they have it under control. In Anniston, Bobby Portavent, ABC 3340 News. Anniston City School Superintendent Dr. Hill says that there will be no classes at the high school for the rest of the week. Friday is an e-learning day. He says they want to investigate today's incidents. Read more from Dr. Hill and about this story right now on ABC3340.com.